I'm going go in here. Uh, yeah, we're good. I mean, I would join, but I can't. That's all good. Honestly, I'm gonna be happy once this version's gone, or done being played on the channel. Just because I know more people will have the Switch version and that one's more active. Do so. And it's not that I don't want to abandon the, the Wii U guys, but we're kind of running low on people. And it's not as, uh, as active like it used to be. But it does get, eventually get kind of kind kind of tedious to play. Get Wii U a get, get Wii U basis switch. <laughs> it, well, it does. It's uh, switch. It's well, it doesn't sit exactly beside it because I have my consoles in order from generation. So I have the uh, the Wii, th PS3, and Xbox 360, and the Wii U all beside each other. And I have the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch all beside each other, and I, yes, and anyone's asking, yes, I did that on purpose. Because <laughs> I am a goof. Man, you know, you know what I want to play right now? I want to play some Mario Tennis Aces. Oh my god. <laughs> my guys, I, I, I really want to play some Mario Tennis. But I, I don't remember when the, uh, the, the demo ends. I think it ends pretty soon, too. It's gonna be hard to wait to fucking like the end of the month. Mm. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited for that game. That already like I I I only played the demo, but that's already probably one of my favorite games this year already. It's Mario Tennis Aces. That's how good that game is. To me. I know the net code could still be better, but man, it's so fun when it works. When when you get a good match with good net code, oh my god, it's so fun. <laughs> so happy Mario Tennis is actually good again. <laughs> Makes me happy. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I'm not even a big, big Pokemon fan, like, I, like like someone who knows like everything about it, but yeah, I can even tell you that Gen 1 is like fucking ridiculously like flawed. <laughs> Gen 2 is where, it, where it's at, baby, in my opinion. Gen 2 has been and always will be the best gen that they've ever done. Personally, I at least think. Nothing will ever top Gen 2 for me. That was the pinnacle of Pokemon for me. And I still play the games, but Gen 2 is, is definitely the pinnacle. The Johto League is the greatest. Oh, we lost to an AI. <laughs> an AI Isabel kicked our ass. Just want to go ahead and say that. Yeah, and I hate how they only like at. Yeah, I don't. I mean, you can tell the difference from Ash's voice, but I I don't hate the the current one. Holy shit! It's almost one a.m. Oh, for you? Oh yeah, I guess it would be yeah. It's almost new, not midnight already for me. My god. <laughs> it's crazy. What if Pokemon never progressed after Gen 1? Just 151 Pokemon. Honestly, it'd be so much easier to keep track of to me. Because, man, after like Gen 3, I kind of just kind of just fell off on Pokemon for a little bit. And then. Out of nowhere, there was like all these like there was like two gens after that when I when I got interested again. I'm like, where the fuck did all these Pokemon come from? Who are all these guys? And then another gen came out like a year later after that, 
which was the X and uh, Y uh, games, and then two years, no, three years after that, it was the uh, Sun and Moon games. Yeah, it's like, there, there's just so many Pokemon you gotta, like, know, too. It's like, I, I can't recall, I couldn't tell you, like, all 500 and something, whatever the fuck number they are now. Like, I could, like, look at them and be like, oh yeah, I know who that is, but I couldn't tell you the name of some of these Pokemon. And then there's just some I've never seen in my life. It's like, who, who are you? <laughs> I've never seen you in my life. What are you even supposed to be? I mean, I'm hyped for it. I'm excited for it. I'm hoping this time, though, they actually, uh... make more new Pokémon compared to reusing older Pokémon, giving them different looks. As cool as that idea is, I feel, as good as Sun and Moon is, I kinda wish there was, uh, some more unique newer Pokémon, but I thing is, I bet you, I guarantee you they're, they're running out of ideas of what to come up with. Like, it must be so hard to come up with Pokemon nowadays, like, coming up with unique concepts. Yeah, I tried to get back into, uh, Pokemon with Gen 6? Yeah, Gen 6. But the game was just... I don't know. Didn't really like the game as much and that kind of thing. Like, eh. Yeah, it's amazing how they still keep coming up with ideas for Pokemon. It, 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 it honestly amazes me at times. And PogChamp again, by the way, guys. HD version of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, dude, I'd buy that. Oh man, Heart Gold and Soul Silver is a hell of a good remake. That is the pinnacle of remakes of uh, when it comes to Pokemon. And now I can't really say about Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphires. I've never played them, nor do I actually have them. But man, Heart Heart Gold and Soul Silver are just magnum opuses right there. Yeah, they are they are the best games. They are easily the best games. No, I can't even disagree with that. I mean, the one issue I have with it only is that leveling up takes like, forever. But other than that, it's still one of the best Pokemon games ever created. Hell, even best remakes of all time. When I when I was playing through that on the cast, man, leveling up took forever at times. Grinding was a pain in the ass at times. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Omega Ruby off the size of Underwhelming Remake. Yeah, I don't hear a lot of people like it as much. But, and I have not, I've not played all the Pokemon games. So. I need to. 
I've only played uh, the original red, uh, a little bit gold, and I think I played somewhat of ruby, but not too much. And then I then it was platinum after that, and then I didn't play a Pokemon game after that since until like X and Y, and then. Fire Red, and then Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and then Sun and Moon, basically. Those are all the Pokemon games I've, I've played, mainline that is. Now for, like, spin-offs in that, I've played Pokemon Snap, I've played Hey You Pikachu, I've played uh, the Stadium games, which are actually not, are actually pretty underrated in my opinion. Especially Stadium 2. Stadium 2 is, is pretty good. I think I prefer that a little more compared to uh, Stadium 1. No! Damn it. Get over here! Oh man! <laughs> Damn. We should watch all the episodes of Pokemon. We should. I was speaking of stuff like that, binge watching and that stuff. I actually made a, uh, what was, it? what's that site called? Um, I made an account on this one site. It's called, uh,. I think it was like Rab It. I'm not sure if anyone's heard about it, but I've made an account on there recently. When is movie night? That's a good question. Except let's skip Gen 5. We should, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun to do, actually. Go and rab it and watch that stuff. That'd be kind of cool. That was originally how I wanted to watch like the Ruby uh, volumes from one to like four at the time, but then Twitch decided to do the marathon, so that kind of just killed my idea of doing that. Um, then I wanted to watch the Persona Four anime on there as well. That would be fun to do. Do it anyways. Yeah, I know. I could do it anyways. Rabbit is laggy. Really? When I was there the other day, it was not too bad, actually. I was watching somebody, uh, stream in South Park. Pokemon is definitely an each-to-their-own kind of game. Yeah. To, to me, as long as it has Growlithe in it, it's a good game, in my opinion. <laughs> if it doesn't have Growlithe, it's a 0 out of 10 Pokemon game for me. Your eyes had don't buy. <laughs> Not enough good boy in it. And yeah, today I was talking to like a couple of co-workers. We were talking about the uh, the Switch Pokemon game, and I was like, I'm, I'm only getting the version that has my, my has good boy in it, and that means growl. They didn't know who that meant, and I was saying, oh, that has growl. And my friend, one of my uh, co-workers, was like, yo, I love growl. He was my favorite at one point. I'm like, yo, dude. <laughs> How, how, how did I not know you until now? <laughs> it was a good day. We were talking about that. It was awesome. And a lot of people are definitely going for the the, the Eevee version, it seems. So that's kind of cool. Eevee's getting, getting his due after all these years. I'm pretty proud of him. I'm thinking of getting the Eevee version myself, actually. If, I'm, if I get any of the versions, it's definitely probably going to be the Eevee version. Because Pikachu's had enough spotlight in my opinion. It's time to give Eevee a chance. Ah, shit. Plus, that will be the more unique version because you can evolve your Eevee to so many different type of, of evolutions, right? While Pikachu, you can only evolve into, like, the Raichu. Even if you if you can evolve your, your uh, Pikachu or Eevee in that game. I don't think they even mentioned anything about that you can even. Pikachu's on the way of changing my mind. <laughs> he kinda is, honestly. I love him, but yeah, he's overrated as hell. It's it's so true. Go 
Evolveon. My favorite Eevee Illusion is uh, Vaporeon. I love Vaporeon. You have Ash as to that? Yeah. You have to catch a separate Pikachu and Eevee? Oh, really? So you can't evolve your main one? Well then. Are they like your mascot, the your, your cheerleader? They're like they're like Ash's Pikachu, basically. They just follow you around. Did they win another set? What the nani, dude? What the nani? I want another one. <laughs>